Stocks and South is not just the place I represent in Parliament, it's my home. It's where I was born and raised. It's a brilliant place. We've got wonderful people. We've got a great future ahead of us. Stockton South is a really great constituency to represent a member of parliament. Now, it's where I'm from, I was born in North East Hospital. Uh, and actually when I look across the area, we've got a whole range of different communities with different issues in each and challenges that each faces. Uh, Thornaby, Yarm, Eaglescliff, Ingley Barrick, Stockton itself, all of the villages. There are many things that tie us together and many similar things uh, that we try to do for the area as a whole. But each part also has its own individual unique challenges and things that people want to see improved in their communities. These sorts of shopping parades are very important for the local community. They're vital, particularly for some people who don't necessarily have the, the transport means to go further afield. Uh, actually, this parade burnt down about two years ago and has been rebuilt and replaced. I know that people here in Eaglesliff value it, and I'm really pleased to play my small part. Uh, in delivering this service for the community by opening the post office today. I've worked on a, a whole range of local issues in my four and a half years as the local MP. Uh, we've secured funding for improving schools like Grangefield and Ian Ramsey and Stockton. We're getting a new secondary school in England Barrett which is really welcome. In Thornaby we've got the town hall given back to the people of the town. The Tristar Nisham site which is a derelict site by the, the high street by the town centre there uh, has been refurbished all of those eyesore buildings have been removed. We've got lots and lots of positive things that have been happening. Here in the North East, and particularly in Teesside, we've already seen a lot of really positive developments in recent years. There's no denying that the recession and the economic challenges that this country faced hit our area hard, but we've got to ensure that we invest in jobs for the future and the skills for the future. That means at every level, from investing in education locally, but we've also got to ensure that the broader skills base is maintained and that the jobs are there at the end of that process. So when we look at projects like Itachi, which is bringing uh, a huge investment to a cliff just down the road, that will actually deliver thousands of jobs right across our area. We've got to secure them, continue to secure more, and ensure the future economic success of our area. So I spend Monday to Thursday in London, in Westminster, doing my job in Parliament, and Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I come home, I come back up, and I always love coming back up to Eaglescliff, where I live, to Stockton, which is the town that I represent, and that can involve a whole range of things, from visiting uh, shows and fairs where people are raising money, supporting charitable organisations, to, as I did this morning, speaking to groups of politics students at local schools, uh, meeting local businesses, and of course holding my surgeries, going out into the community and finding out what sort of things people want to raise with me, uh, and specifically for individuals if there are issues that you're trying to help them. Uh, if you set out with honest intentions and do your best, then I think people appreciate that and engage with it. And I find that people, whether young or old, across uh, Stockton South at least, engage with me in my role as the local MP. Uh, I hope that we can do that for mutual benefit and get the best for our community.